Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Julianne, and today's video is going to be an almost whole house reset. We have a lot of cleaning that we're going to be getting done. My house is pretty messy today, so we are going to be starting out in the kitchen. I'm going to get everything picked up. For some reason, this island is just a catch all space. By the end of the week, everything is just on this island. I do a good job throughout the beginning of the week, and then for some reason, the last few days, everything just starts to pile up. I have my bag here that I'm kind of stuffing things in, my Aldi bag. I actually use that for soccer, so I like to keep snacks in there and keep some toys and things in there. Let me know in the comments what you guys are up to today, how you guys are doing, how your summer is going. I just want to say thank you so much for being here today. And if you're a returning viewer, you guys know that I appreciate you commenting and saying hi. And if you're new, welcome. I'm Julianne. I'm a mom of four. I have three little girls and one little boy. Boy. and on my channel I love to bring you guys realistic cleaning motivation I also enjoy doing holiday decor inspiration so if you enjoy that kind of content make sure to hit the subscribe button I have a new video every week with tons of cleaning motivation So we got the island picked up. Now I'm gonna get all these spices picked up and put away on this little Lazy Susan, I guess. I don't really know what it's called, little turntable thing. But you guys see back there, um, Elvis is a nurse and for Nurses Week, they gave him a fish. I was like, when he brought it home, I was like, they give you a fish for Nurses Week? But my kids named the fish Ariel. So just hanging out back there by the stove. <laughs> Um, now we're going to do the dirty dishes and then I y'all I filmed this a while ago So I'm like, I don't even know what's coming up next, but let's get the dishes put away All right, so we have a few dishes that we're going to be washing by hand and then we're going to give the sink a really good scrub down in the comments how your guys' summer has been going so far. So my kids would get out at the end of May and we have been keeping really busy. Mine is having the stomach bug. Um, we have been out of the house a lot trying to get to the community pool. My kids did just start summer camp so they go there for a couple hours a day and then we just have a lot of sports. My kids do still do their sports. Even in the um, summertime, Owen does still have soccer. And then my oldest daughter has um, like tumbling and flying classes. And then Camila also um, has a few little classes that she does. So I'm trying to keep them all busy for summer.
Hey everyone, I'm so excited. Today's video is sponsored by Thrive Market. First, we're gonna do a little unboxing and I'm gonna be showing you what I got. My kids did just get out of school for the summer, so I'm stocking up on some really fun snacks for them. They have tons of amazing options for healthier snacks along with many other items and I love that you can save a little cash when you put your favorite items on recurring deliveries with auto ship which also saves you some time. And if you haven't heard of Thrive Market or you don't know too much about them, they are an amazing company on a mission to make healthy living easy and affordable for everyone. I love that with every annual membership, they give a free membership to a family in need which includes teachers, students, veterans, first responders, and low-income families you can head over to their website and you're able to apply if you fall into one of those categories when you head over to their website it's super easy to use and you can filter your shopping based on your lifestyle from organic plant-based to keto and vegan they have so many different snacks pantry items frozen items and don't think they're lacking at all in any personal items too there's truly something for everyone and compared to many grocery store prices a thrive market will have the lowest price my kids have enjoyed all the snacks so far. You can use my link in the description box below to join Thrive Market today to get 30% off your first order and a free gift worth up to $60. My link is thrivemarket.com slash and Nicole. And thank you so much to Thrive Market for sponsoring today's video. The stove top isn't too dirty today, so we are just using the Dawn Power Wash. Looking for someone not afraid of Give it all to me Get next to me, get next to me All that I want is to get next to you Get next to you Not asking for much, but it feels like the two of us are gold And the gold you see What do you get? So take a chance, take a chance on me It's not your cold when you are close So get close on me What do you get? Cause I am gold and I'm gold We're gonna give the countertops a quick wipe down. I just have some dish soap on a microfiber cloth towel and then on the other side, it is a little bit dirty so I'm gonna be bringing over the scrub daddy sponge and scrubbing some stuff off of here. You had to go. I guess this world's too slow for you. I think there's beauty in the gray, the cold, but you just want the gold. And there's no way I can beat it, cause I got no chance, no chance when it comes to her. Alright, so now we're moving on to the dining table. We're gonna get everything picked up when we had the stomach bug. Well, actually, I had the stomach bug, and then Elvis got it. Um, he grabbed some paper plates and some forks and things because the dishes were starting to pile up and he actually decided that it would probably be easier on myself for the summertime to have some of that stuff handy for the kids. I picked up some snack trays from Sam's Club. You got like 700 of them for I think it was like $20. And I've been using those for my kids' breakfast and lunch, and it has been amazing. This 
stroller from Amazon a couple months back and I really like it. It's lightweight. I think the brand is Mom Push. So we're getting everything picked up off the floors and we're gonna get the couch put back together. It's already about 100 degrees here in Phoenix and my kids still need like three or four blankets out here on the couch. I've been hanging on counting days thinking it was me all along. Had a million conversations in my head about where it went wrong And I've got no idea where you've been, who you are, not anymore All I got is this Polaroid picture of us So it gets pretty messy over here with all of the shoes It's just not a great setup down here um, But since we are only renting, I'm I'm honestly not that worried about it. We have been looking at some spec homes and I had mentioned spec homes before and some people had some questions about that. A spec home is where the builder goes in and they pick everything for the house and then you just go buy it. So it's like a new build, but you don't actually build it. Um, but I like don't want to say too much because I, then I'm worried that if we go in on a spec home and then something happens with like the market or our finances and then I've talked about this new house, um, I don't know. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Do you guys want to hear more about the process that we are looking into or do you guys just want to see um, our new house whenever we do buy one? Do you remember how we pull the drapes in the basement to get away from the world that we couldn't fit in and how we used to walk those empty streets at night in the city lights is where I saw you for the last time said our goodbyes sat in the car you saw the pain in my eyes but I just couldn't let you down time and time again it wasn't my intention maybe we should have been friends so so I had a few other things I was going to be getting done. I think my camera was also dying at this point, so I decided I was going to let the little robot vacuum go and do the cleaning. The floors were pretty gross this day, so we are going to mop them, and I have just some regular mopping solution in here. getting into Victoria's room which isn't bad at all she's been doing a really amazing job keeping her room clean but we do need to get in here and get some stuff wiped down and vacuum always takes too long yeah too long I ain't got all weekend 
We had a good run, yeah, good run, but the clock is ticking. I gotta move on, yeah, move on. I got things to do all without you. Get to hurt, there's no need for screams or shouts or ugly words, no. I'm done with getting hate from love, you see, love, you see, love. Baby, can we kill these butterflies? They live and then they die, and that's the way I like it. I just want to move on with my life. I've loved you for a while, and that's the way I like it. Victoria did recently lose a tooth and for some reason we still have it here and Camila was uh, picking it up. So Victoria's room was not bad at all. Like I had said, it was really good in here. Just needed to do some basic cleaning. And then you guys are gonna see uh, Camila here. She's so funny. She was hiding underneath the bed. I don't know what she was doing underneath there, but it looked like she was having fun. to Owen's room not bad at all in here and I do have to say the kids have been doing a good job this summer with keeping their rooms picked up and you know doing some of their own stuff putting their laundry away I have to say it's just it's been really good we had a talk at the very beginning about how I am not going to be doing all the cleaning in the house because honestly with them being home I would be cleaning all day long if they did not help me
another broken plate another called off date we never seem to get it right another heart attack words that we can't take back we are the reason opposites attract once you slam the door on the second floor i regret it all when i think it through i can help the way i feel for you Make me love into Camila's room and I think I had already been in here doing some work or maybe she was helping me out I can't remember but I'm just gonna get the things um, put underneath her bed I have these little containers and I like to put her toys in I got them from Ikea I do get questions about the little bins underneath the bed um, quite often so I did get those from Ikea and then we're gonna just uh, get all the stuff picked up and vacuum and then we're pretty much gonna be done in here I guess the house wasn't as bad as what I thought it was and then in next week we're gonna be doing a whole house clean um, again the kids bedrooms they have been keeping up on them but we will be getting into the master bedroom bathroom and um, who knows what else <laughs> That is pretty much it for today i hope you enjoyed this video if you did make sure to hit that subscribe button head down to the description box below to check out thrive market and thank you guys so much for being here today and i will see you in the next one bye